Hello friends, welcome to the 82nd session of Hybris tutorial. Guys, in this session, we are going to learn a very simple but a very important topic how to set the multiple Java versions at runtime. Guys, we use this concept very frequently when we need to, you know, switch between multiple Hybris versions. So I will not say that this topic is specific for the Hybris developers. This topic is specific for Java as well as Hybris developers both. So this video is going to be very informative for you. So guys, first of all, we will learn where exactly is the need to switch between multiple Java versions at runtime and how many are the ways you know to switch between multiple java versions so guys if i show you i have the two hybrid setups with me one setup is hybris version 20.11.08 and second setup is is the hybris version 22.11. Hybris version 22.11 is the latest version released by the SAP hybris and hybris 20.11.08 is the previous version. Okay, but the major difference between the both is hybris 20.11.08 version basically use the JDK 11 but if you try to you know run the hybris version 22.11 on jdk 11 you will not be able to bring your server up you need to install the jdk 17 or sap machine 17 you know to run the hybris version 22.11 so if there is a requirement that you know you are working on two different project one project is running on hybris version 22.11 and second project is running on hybris 20.11.08 if you are working on two projects simultaneously and you have installed the both the projects on the same system or same laptop then how you will manage or how you will you know change the java versions very frequently one way is guys for example if i show you if i show you if i go to my uh, uh, c drive if i go to the program files if i go to the java folder here you can see i have jdk 11 i have jdk 17 and then i have the sap machine jdk 17.0.6 right and we know to uh, you know to run the hybris version 201108 we need the jdk 11 and to run the hybris version 2211 we need the sap machine jdk 17 right so uh, if i want to you know set up the java version jdk 11 so one conventional way is you can open your environment variables you can open your environment variables right over here right and you can set your java path right in the path over here you can mention your java path something like this if i have to you know let's say set up the J jdk 11, uh, 11 if i show you the command line now let, let's say i open the command line and if i fire the command java version you can see currently i don't have any java installed in my system right i don't have any java the reason is because i have not given the path of i have not given any java path right in the path environment variable over here right in the con with the conventional way if i want to you know set up the jdk 11 or if i want to set up the java 11 in my system what what i would do i would just copy this path right like this okay and then i will just simply mention this over here like this and i will just press ok i will just press ok and then i will just press ok and if i open the com new command line window now right not the existing one i have to open the new command line window and if i fire this command now java version you can see now i have the java 11 installed in my system right jdk 11 installed in my system similarly guys now you will be able to you know run your hybris version 2011 right you will be able to you know run this hybris version 2011.08 because it expects the jdk 11 only right but now suddenly you want to switch to write hybris version 22.11 again what you have to do guys again you have to go to the environment variables right you have to go to the environment variables and then again you have to you know change the 
java path you have to change the java path over here right so what do you have to do again you have to basically now give this path let's say this path you have to change this path something like this i'm just copying this path and i will just remove this path which i set up over here i will press on delete button and then i will mention this path again okay i am mentioning this path again okay i will close all the command line windows so you can see i have closed all the command line windows and i am opening the command line again and if i fire the command java version now you can see now i am using the jdk 17 version of hybris right but guys you must have noticed that if i want to you know switch between the multiple java versions very frequently by changing the java path from the environment variables it is a very time consuming process right so there should be some way through which we can change the you know java version at runtime so in this video we are going to learn that only how we can you know switch between multiple java versions without doing the changes in the environment variables and this concept is also used right when you are working for a particular organization and you don't have admin rights in your system so uh, without the admin rights you cannot change your environment variables right in that way also uh, this uh, you can say concept will be very helpful right so you can see i have deleted it right i you can see i have deleted now in my path variable we don't have any java path setup over here you can see i have just pressed ok and i'm just closing this and if i you can say you know um, you can see i have fired the command again you will see that it will not be able to recognize the java command right it means currently i don't have any java installed in my system now guys let's say i want to you know bring my hybrid server up hybris version 2011.08 so what i have to do firstly guys i will just open the command line over here like this okay and i will just set the ant environment first you can see i have set up it and if i search for the java version now you can see i can say i cannot you know uh, uh find the java right uh, as of now because there is no java i have done the setup in my environment variables right so what you can do now guys since i am using 2011.08 and i want right jdk 11 so how what you can do now guys and guys you can copy the command shown in this video right by clicking on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and you can also get the access to the notes related to this video and the notes related to all other topics all other hybrid topics which we have published so far right also you can get the access to the member specific videos so what do you just have to do you just have to open any video maybe like this is the video right and you just have to go to the comment section of this video and then you just have to click on this uh, on this link docs.google.com right and then you just have to follow the guidelines which we will give to you in reply to your access request for example guys this is the corresponding member specific video so you can just get the access to this video by clicking on the link which is given in the comment section of this video right so guys i hope you like this video and if you like this video please share this channel with your friends thank you for watching bye